Hi, I'm Joe, great finalizer for CGC, and the collectible I've chosen is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. One of my all-time favorite Christmas presents I've ever received. Um, I remember playing this game with my siblings as a kid, struggling to beat it, taking turns, trying different things within the game. Um, it opened up a whole world of film, art, music, and the way those all came together and put you in the driver's seat and let you explore this wonderful world, which is sometimes non-linear. You have to go back in time to affect the future and change the world. It was really cool. Um, I love the game so much. I've beaten it every single year since it came out. I even got a Triforce tattoo, uh, which means so much to me. You know, the marriage of the Triforce of wisdom, courage, and power, how that can come together and allow you to change the world is such a powerful message. I love it so much, we played it at my bachelor party straight through the weekend, and I even walked down the aisle to the Great Fairy's Fountain. So I love this game, and I hope you get a chance to play it if you haven't already. Hi, I'm Amber Grissom. I'm with the CGC Marketing Department. I brought today a Digimon number one comic, 2001 from Dark Horse Comics. This was actually the first comic I ever received, and it was a Christmas present from my mom, uh, along with issues two through four of the series. So I got this comic when I was eight years old. I was actually kind of hiding in my little squirrel corner with opening gifts, but I absolutely loved this one, so there's no way that I could have faked my amazement about how wonderful Digimon was, especially for me at the time. Um, every photo of me with gifts for that year was something with Digimon. I think I actually had like an Easter action figure of Sylphimon too, so it was a great year for Digimon for me. This comic is actually extra special to me because this past year, the CGC Signature Series team helped me get it signed. Uh, so it is signed Amber Digivolve by the lead voice actor for the series. That is Joshua Seth for the voice of Tai Kamiya. I've always been a long-term fan of Digimon and I think it's absolutely great that it can be something for all of our verticals to collect. Um, whether you like cards, video games, uh, home video, there's something for Digimon everywhere. Hey everybody, it's Joe Martin. I'm Senior Graphic Designer at CGC. And today I brought uh, one of my favorite Christmas gifts that I've ever received, which was 1987's Robocop on VHS, produced by Ryan Pictures. Uh, smash hit because it's got a robot, it's got a cop, it's got it all. It's got violence, it's got uh, stop motion animation, explosions, everything. It's just great. Uh, one of my favorite movies, probably my top three of all time. Got it when I was eight years old and was super excited about it because it's a very, very uh, hard R-rated movie. And uh, my parents said, you should probably watch this because you like robots, you like cops. It's everything you want to do in life and everything you enjoy. I said this is the best thing you could have ever gotten me and it features literally everything that I now enjoy about just 80s action films. My collection of Robocop memorabilia and things have definitely extended beyond this, but this is pretty much what started it, got me down the line, and uh, this is my beautiful Sig 5 opened and watched millions of times copy. And it's great. Uh, I also brought my personal copy of Robocop um, for the NES, which is not as great, but still pretty good. Hi, I'm Lindsay with the CGC Social Team, and this is my favorite card I ever received for Christmas, which is a Joey Votto autograph card. Joey Votto is one of my favorite players of all time, and my dad got it for me for Christmas because our love for baseball goes beyond anything in this world. So I would say it was a couple of years ago, my dad showed up to Florida where I live. Uh, he lives in New York and he came with this card and it was one of those things where I opened it and I was like, no way. And then I kept opening it and I saw what card it was and immediately I knew I wanted to get it graded and encapsulated for the long term. So when Joey does go into the Hall of Fame, I can bring it up there to Cooperstown and then hopefully, you know, one day just keep it and give it to my kids. Hi, my name is Amber Mitchell. I work in PMG with Paper Money here at CCG. And I am here today to talk about a very special gift that I got from a fellow coworker uh, last year. Uh, John is a comic book grader and a fellow Doom Patrol fan. And when I finally got to meet him, uh, him being one of my wife's colleagues working in comics, had dinner at a mutual friend's house last year, he'd heard through the grapevine that I was also a Doom Patrol fan. And he took it upon himself to be a comic book Santa and went through his whole collection looking for copies he had duplicates of and handed me a big stack of comics when I met him for the first time saying, us Doom Patrol fans, we have to look out for each other. And in the middle of that stack of comics was this book right here. And this is Grant Morrison's first issue of Doom Patrol, Doom Patrol Volume 2, Number 19. 
It's very special to me because I first discovered this series and Morrison's run on this series when I was in college. I was very much so in the closet and scared to come out and dealing with a lot of pressure from family and my home life. And discovering this book, which was about a group of outcast superheroes struggling things with things like sexuality and mental illness, seeing myself in these pages for the first time relating to these characters helped me feel like one day I would have my own found family like the characters in these pages. So John didn't know it at the time, of course, but this was a very special Christmas present for me. Um, so thank you, John. I don't know if I've ever properly explained how much it meant to me, but thank you for this book. It was really, really special and I'll make sure to treasure it. My name is Charlie Ochoa. I'm a training specialist here. And one of the most memorable Christmases that I ever had was when I received the Nintendo 64. Uh, that particular year, the system had just came out and it was a really hard uh, item to find in the stores. It was, it was difficult, so I did not expect to receive it. Um, one of the reasons I wanted that system was because of, of Mario 64. Um, so uh, again, I didn't have any idea I was going to get this gift. I thought it was impossible to find in the stores, but after I opened all the presents that year, my dad pulled the old, uh, I think there's one more present over there, uh, you know, from, from the Chris, famous Christmas movie. Um, and he handed me a large box and it was the Nintendo 64. It came as a complete surprise. Um, so I was really happy to get that gift. Uh, and along with that Mario 64, that was one of my most cherished Christmas memories. Hi, I'm Phil Dispenza, vintage comic book grader at CGC. And this is a holiday video about special collectible that I had received back when I was young. Back in 1983, I received the ColecoVision video game console. And I brought with me today two games from the ColecoVision, Zaxxon and Cosmic Avenger. My father was famous for taking videos and pictures of us when we opened our Christmas presents. So I provided a picture uh, of the Christmas of 1983. And you'll see me with a big smile holding that ColecoVision because that was a present my brother and I really wanted. And also in that picture you'll see an Atari expansion, which allowed you to play Atari games on the ColecoVision system. So you didn't have to disconnect your ColecoVision, plug in the Atari 2600, and you could play the same games uh, on one system. After we opened the gift and my father had his pictures all done, uh, my brother and I immediately connected the system to our TV and got to playing. The ColecoVision was a memorable present for us because, you know, when we were younger, it was always little toys, board games, and things. And uh, besides the Atari 2600, this was probably one of the most expensive gifts my, my parents actually uh, purchased for us. 